the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 321, Acts chapter 15, verse 36 to chapter 18, verse 22. Paul's second missionary journey. Paul, who separated with Barnabas, preached the gospel in the regions of Macedonia together with new fellow workers and experienced the power of the gospel even in the midst of much persecution. First point, with the official approval and love from the Jerusalem Council, Paul formulated his own team and set out for his second missionary journey. Paul and Barnabas returned to Antioch after the Jerusalem Council meeting came to an end, and they all the more passionately taught the people about the cross and resurrection of Jesus Christ. After spending a few days, Paul suggested to Barnabas to go on their second missionary journey. Despite almost dying and all the extremely difficult times they encountered during the first journey, Paul wished to return to all the places they visited. However, a debate broke out between the two, and this concerned Mark. Mark had set off with them during the first journey, but came back to Jerusalem halfway. Barnabas wished to take Mark with them again and give him a second chance, but Paul was against this idea. They were unable to come to an agreement about this and decided to go their separate ways. If Paul did not receive an official acknowledgement from the Jerusalem Council, he would not have been able to form his own team and go. Concerning Mark, we later learn that when Paul was in Rome before being sentenced to death, he sent for Mark as he was useful to his ministry. This shows that Mark did outstandingly well during his second missionary journey with Barnabas. Mark later wrote Mark's Gospel. Second point, Paul revisited the places of his first missionary journey and updated them on the decisions made by the Jerusalem Council in order to give them encouragement and support. Paul set out on his second missionary journey with Silas, and he revisited Derby and then Lystra where he had encountered a great deal of difficulty during his first journey. Here they met Timothy, and he became Paul's disciple. Timothy's father was Greek, and his mother was a Jew. Timothy received the finest education from his parents, and he was highly praised in Lystra and Iconium. Paul added Timothy to their missionary team and made sure that no rumors went around about his parentage concerning circumcision. With Timothy on their team, Paul set out again to the places he visited during his first missionary journey and then updated the people about the decisions made in the Jerusalem Council. This increased the number of people who confessed Jesus Christ as the Messiah. Third point, Paul's missionary team was led by the Holy Spirit to go preach the gospel in Europe. Although Paul planned to visit more areas within the boundaries of Asia Minor, the Holy Spirit did not immediately permit this. The Holy Spirit instead led him to where he was most needed. In Troas, Paul was given a vision to go to Macedonia. In Troas, Luke joined the Paul's missionary team. What started off with two members grew into four, and through the leading from the Holy Spirit, the team went from Asia Minor to Macedonia. They arrived in Philippi, where they met Lydia, a dealer of purple cloth. Paul preached in Philippi, and the Philippian church came to be a big support of Paul in the days to come. 
During his time there, Paul killed a female servant who was a fortune teller from being demon possessed. But because of this, the owner of that servant reported this to the Roman soldiers. And so he was flogged and sent to prison. But God gave a miracle in this prison in order to save the jailer. Through this, Paul and Silas were able to preach the gospel to the jailer. Fourth point. During Paul's second missionary journey, he established the church in Philippi and then wanted to spread the gospel in Thessalonica, Berea, and Athens. Paul's team spread the gospel to Lydia and her family, as well as the jailer, and then founded the Philippian church. Afterwards, they headed to Thessalonica. Here, they preached the gospel to many Greeks and a few prominent women. However, Paul's team was unable to stay here for a long time due to the jealous Jews. Next, they went to Berea where they came across more people who accepted the gospel. However, the Jews came after Paul's team to Berea to interrupt their ministry. Because of this, Paul left Silas and Timothy in Berea and fled first. Paul left Macedonia and then went to Athens. Athens was a place full of idols, but despite so, Paul and Luke headed towards the synagogue and preached the gospel in the marketplace every day. Paul preached that God is the creator. All humans are God's creation. Jesus Christ died on the cross and resurrected, and that we all had to repent of our sins. When the people of Athens heard this, they did not show a good response. Thus, Paul left Athens. Although Paul did not have good results in Athens, he decided that he would, from now on, only deliver the message of Jesus' cross. Fifth point. During Paul's second missionary journey, he stayed in Corinth for a year and six months and sent two letters to Thessalonica. Paul left Athens and then headed towards Corinth. In Corinth, Paul met Priscilla and Aquila. During this time, the Roman Empire was under the rule of the false emperor Claudius. And because he commanded the exile of the Jews, Priscilla and Aquila were lodging in Corinth. Like Paul, they made a living by making tents. Whilst in Corinth, Paul went to the synagogue every Sabbath and preached the gospel. Around this time, Silas and Timothy, who had been in Berea, came to join Paul, and together they started their missionary in Corinth. Silas did the preparations to get financial help from the Philippian church. Timothy brought bank news from Thessalonica, and here Paul wrote one and two Thessalonians. When the results from Corinth were not as successful as he had hoped, Paul was in despair. However, the Lord sent him a vision to console him and told Paul that the people in Corinth were also the Lord's people. Therefore, Paul stayed in Corinth for a year and a half and established the Corinthian church. With this, Paul closed his second missionary journey. Before setting out on his third missionary journey, Paul firstly shaved his head. Secondly, he spent some time in Ephesus and spread the gospel there. Later, during his third missionary journey, he returned to Ephesus and spent around three years there. Thirdly, he reported the contents of his journey back to the Jerusalem church. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And 
He has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.